Hello! Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name is Jonathan Hicks and we're doing mean, median and mode. Oh yeah! Now these are three types of average. In statistics you often use averages quite a lot. If you're not sure what kind of average they mean when they say average, they usually mean the mean. The mean is the default average. So if you don't know which average to use, which one do you mean? You mean the mean. That's the one you use. But mode and median are other types of average and if they ever want you to use those they'll say work out the mode or work out the median. So if it says work out the mean or the average you use the mean otherwise you use the other two. I'm going to show you how to use all three of these for a simple list of numbers. This, comp this topic can get quite a lot more complicated but the concepts don't. So the reason it gets complicated is because you tend to work out the mean, median and mode for very large sets of numbers often. But as I say, the concepts don't change. So that's all we're going to do in this video, just the concepts, how you work out mean, medium, mode for a simple list of numbers. And if you can get those concepts straight in your head, you'll find the rest of it is a lot easier. Even when it gets more complicated, as I say, the basic concepts don't change. So we'll start with the mean. In fact, first of all, we'll start with a list of numbers. Uh, let's imagine, if I write out a few numbers here, that I've gone around and asked the, uh, a bunch of different families how many children they have. That might be a good thing to have here. So let me just get the numbers up. There we go. So the first family I went to said they had only one child. Maybe the next family said they had three kids. The next family have two kids. And then I've gone round and I've arranged them all in order. So I put the smallest numbers first through to the largest numbers at the end. Now if we wanted to work out the mean of this list of numbers, then you simply add them all up and divide by however many numbers there are. So in this case we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers. So you'd have to add up all those numbers and divide by nine. You always work out the mean that way. Usually this is going to appear on a calculator question, so I've got my trusty calculator with me. So we could probably add up the numbers in our head actually. That's going to be two, four, six, eight, eleven, fourteen, eighteen, twenty-three. So you add up all the numbers you get twenty-three. There's nine of them, so you've got to do 23 divided by nine. That's going to give you a decimal number. That's why you need the calculator. And I get 2.55555555. There were a lot of fives. The fives just keep going on forever. So the mean, in this case, as I say, is 23. Add them all up. Divided by however many there are. That's nine. And we get two point lots of fives. Now, you don't want to just write out 555 going on forever like this. You do need to round it. And a lot of people ask me, well, how do you know where to round? Often it says in the question, so if it says round to one decimal place or two decimal places, then you just follow what they say. Always check the question to make sure they, if they ask you to round to a certain number of decimal places that you know exactly how many to. But if it doesn't say, then you can choose. You shouldn't round it to the nearest whole number. One or two decimal places is usually fine, but you can choose. The main thing is you must round correctly. So if I go for two decimal places, I put my line here after the first second decimal place. Look at the next digit, it's five or more, which means this one has to go up. You then throw away everything after the line, so all that gets thrown away. The last one, go the five, goes up to a six. So my final answer would be 2.56. So the mean of this list of numbers is 2.56. Now that might seem a bit odd, we're saying the average number of children in a family is 2.56 for this set of families that I chose to look at. You can't have 2.56 children in a family, so what does that mean? A lot of people like to round here to the nearest whole number for that reason, because you can't have 2.56 children. You could have two children or you could have three children, but you can't have two and a half almost. But you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't round these. This does actually tell you extra information. If you rounded it to two or three, you'd be saying the average number is exactly two or exactly three. But what this tells you is the average is somewhere between the two. That there are quite a few families with children on the two or less than two end, and there are a few families that have got three or more. And the average sits somewhere between the two. And that's why you should put this here. This is important information. Even though you can't actually have two and a half kids in practice, you still need to leave it like this. Don't round to the nearest whole number. So with the mean, typically one or two decimal places, and you should say, 
afterwards in brackets, the accuracy you've rounded to. So two decimal places in my case. So that's the mean, and it's always the same, very straightforward. Add them all up, divide by however many numbers there are. The mode is the next one. The mode is the number that occurs the most. That's how I remember it, the mode is the most. So you just look at your set of numbers, which number occurs more than any other number? Well, there are two ones, there are three twos, two threes, one four and one five. So there are more twos than any other number. So the mode is two. It's that straightforward. Finally, the median. Now you do need to be slightly careful here. This word is median with an N, not medium. Although, because they're quite similar, that actually helps me remember it. The medium one is like the one in the middle. You get high, medium, low. The median is the one in the middle. So you must, first of all, put all your numbers in order from smallest at one end through to largest at the other end. If you don't do that, you get the wrong answer. So make sure you do that. But I've already done that with these numbers. So you just have to pick the one in the middle. And with a list of numbers like this, the easiest way is to simply pair your way in from the outside. So start from there and there, pair your way in, and keep going until you get to the number in the middle. And the number in the middle is the median, which happens to be the same as the mode in this case. But that's it. The median is the one in the middle. The mode is the one that occurs the most. And the mean is the normal average. So you add them all up, divide by however many you get. So those are your concepts. And as I say, the number of numbers in the list can get very large in statistics. And that's what tends to make this a difficult topic sometimes. But the basic ideas don't change. Even if it's a really long list of numbers and you're finding the mean, you still add them all up and divide by however many you've got. The mode and the median, there are a couple of special cases that can make these a little bit tricky sometimes. So I'm just going to show you those quickly before we finish. Uh, and we'll deal with the large sets of numbers in different videos because they can take a bit more time. So uh, let's think about the mode next. So for this set of numbers, we worked out the mode was 2. Because there are more twos in the list than any other number. But what would happen if I added an extra one on the front? So now we've got three ones and we've got three twos. There's no one number that occurs more than any other number. These two are tied for first place. Well, if that happens, the mode is both of these numbers. If it's a tie for first place, you have to put all the numbers that tied there. So the mode is one and it's two. These are both the mode together. And uh, if, you're, if you've got a test, a stats test, and you're asked to find the mode of a list of numbers, you must put them both down or you'll lose marks. So if it's a tie, if there's more than one, you just put them all down. So if we had, if I did it slightly differently, if we get rid of that one, and maybe I get rid of the two in the middle. So now I've got two ones, two twos, two threes, a four and a five. Now the mode is one, two, and three. All three of those numbers are the mode, because they all tie for first place. However, you've got to be slightly careful here. If I change this again and make that number on the end of four, I've now got two ones, two twos, two threes, and two fours. Now, if it's a complete tie, if all the numbers in the list are tied, then they're not all the mode. There has to be at least one number that's more than another number. But in this case, they've all tied. And if they've all tied, there is no mode. So the mode equals, you just write no mode. Be careful here, the mode is not zero. You can't write zero. If you write zero, that means there are more zeros in the list than any other number. And there are no zeros in this list. So if there's a complete tie, there is no mode. So let's just do another one just to practice. So, if I've got two ones, a two, and a three, the mode is one. Yeah, ones occur more than any other number. Now, the mode is one and three, because they both tie. Now, there is no mode. They've all, all the numbers occur once. There is no number that occurs more than any other number, so there is no mode. So those are the special cases for how you work out the mode. The last thing we need to look at then is the median. There are a couple of 
oddities with that. So uh, let's go back to our original set of numbers. I think we had two ones, three twos, two threes, a four and a five. So the median we saw, a bit like the medium, is the one in the middle. And you'd pair your way into the middle and we found it was that two there. But what happens if you don't have an odd number of numbers? Yep, we found when we paired our way into the middle that we got to one particular number. And that's because the number of numbers in the list is odd. Nine numbers is an odd number. So we'll end up with a one particular number. But if you have an even number of numbers, if I stick an extra five on the end here, when we pair our way into the middle, so from there, that pairs with that, that pairs with that, pair, 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 and there's like a pair in the middle. There's no single number in the middle. The middle point is that line there. So how do we work out the median? If the middle point falls between two numbers, then you just take the number that's halfway between those two numbers. So in this case, halfway between two and three <coughs> will be 2.5. So that's how you work out the median when you've got an even number of numbers in the list. Um, if we try a couple of different ones, if I get rid of the last two numbers, now I've got eight numbers in the list, and when you pair your way into the middle, pair, 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 that's the middle point between two and two, halfway between two and two, it's still just two. So in that case, the median will be two. All right, last one then, because they can throw some really nasty ones at you sometimes. Imagine, it's gonna be a very short list, they're normally longer than this, but just to explain the example. Imagine you had to find the median of this list of numbers. Now clearly the middle point, if you pair your way in, is there. But figuring out which number is halfway between 17 and 69 is not a lot of fun. You don't want to be trying to work out and count and add 17, 18, 19 and count down 69, 68, 67 or anything like that. There's a very simple way for finding out a number that's exactly halfway between two numbers. And it's actually the mean. So you just add them together, these two numbers, divide by two, because there's two of them, and that will be the number that's halfway between the two. So the median is the middle number, but if it's a split between these two numbers, you add them together and divide by two. Again, you're gonna have a calculator for this kind of thing. So 17 plus 69 gives you 86, divided by two gives you 43. So in this case, if I write it out, 17 plus 69 divided by two gives you 43. So the median, the number in the middle, would be 43. So those are your concepts. Mean, median, and mode. Mean, add them all up, divide by how many you got. Median is the one in the middle, and the mode is the one that occurs the most. Get those concepts straight in your head and you'll find the rest of these topics much easier to deal with because the ideas don't change, simply the number of numbers you've got to deal with. My name is Jonathan Hicks and you're watching Teach Me Maths. Mm -hmm.